Our mission Hello is again, to destroy people of the a internet. This is One bringing you fresh and toasty gameplay from the land down under. So, with Black Ops 4's live reveal coming up in the next few weeks, I feel it's time to actually talk about the top five things I really want in Black Ops 4 while I do some bring you some, you know, gameplay on the on Operation defenses. Breakout. Now. Treyarch has often been cited as basically the the golden child of the developers. As far as some of the fans are concerned, they can do no wrong. And while it's true that Black Ops 2 is probably one of the highest quality CODs ever produced, and Treyarch was behind that, and this did follow on from their success that was Black Ops 1. I feel that Black Ops 3 was a Attacking bit of a letdown for the developer. The supply drop system was broken and unfair. Like, like, as in, you'd have to be willing to spend more money on the supply drops than I owned in a week to get to be guaranteed to get the weapons in them. Take that command post. Whereas Infinity Ward it brought a much fairer system when it did its DLC weapons, where if you unlock any variant of them in the armory screen, you unlock the base variant, which is something I really like. I mean, I could bring my lovely dual wielding gun slinging revolver loving ways. So. First and foremost, I, since I clearly know we're going to get the box from Black Ops 4, give us something fairer. Like, I would honestly say, give us something where you can literally buy everything in the loot box from the armory screen. This would, this would remove the whole controversy of, you know, paying to get more loot. End the game favoring people who are willing to just throw, open up their wallets and... Enemy aircraft incoming! Amounts of cash. Now, it's all but confirmed we're going to be getting boots on the ground, although some leaks suggest we're going to be more running, which I really don't see happening. There wasn't more running in 2025, the main setting of Black Ops 2. So I don't think there's going to be any war running in, as the leaks claim, 2020, five years earlier, because again, they didn't have. So, I would focus more on keeping the action fairly boot, like keeping the action boots on the ground, just in case there is a chance that we're going to get more wall running, fun hopping, titanfalling. Again, there's nothing wrong with titanfall. I like that game. It lets me run on walls and kill things with a giant robot. Which is always an enjoyment. Ammo supply must be destroyed. That really <laughs> Enemy flamethrower on the battlefield. Another thing Don't I get really cooked. Like to see, however, it's also like improvements on the order and the contract system in World War Two. Now, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love this system. I feel it's a good system. It sometimes it encourages players to step out of the comf their comfort zone of sitting in a corner with an LMG or running around and quick scoping. We're getting the guys who have SMGs to you know, switch out to shotguns. Get the guys who use shotguns to switch out to sniper rifles. All good fun. But when it was revealed that a whole bunch of weapons in World War II were not available in rare supply drops due to a technicality, there was huge backlash, so rather than, you know, just put these weapons into the list pool, Sledgehammer reworked their orders to include a one of these locked variants as a daily order. But, I feel when they described it, they labelled it as a grind. 
and well for the most part it's like today's mission it was get a hundred kills with, with rifles to get a bar variant yeah that's grinding i do that all the time i love rifles outside of revolvers they're my favorite gun as i'm pretty sure most of you could have figured out from my gameplay but that ammo supply, with some of these challenges, like getting multi-kills, sniper bomb. rifles, or having to get headshots with sniper rifles, and getting 25 of them, like, not impossible. The but at the same time, it's not something that, you know, a casual player can do in a day unless the only weapon they practice with is sniper rifles. Whereas, I do like how the contracts work, they're a bit harder and you have to wager Protect some of your hard-earned armory costs. credits on them, but they offer you substantially better rewards. Take out that ammo supply. So, what I would do is I would make it a very clear, in the next game, a very clear distinction between the wager rewards and the, and the daily free ones. The Germans deactivated our bomb! By making it very clear that the daily ones are achievable. Literally anyone will be, would be able to do them. Not as a given time, as in just... Like, you could reasonably knock out three, four daily left. orders. It, like it was nothing. Now this is more of a personal thing that I noticed when I was actually experimenting with a client Black Ops 2 Plutonium T6. You should totally download if you haven't already and you've got PC Black Ops 2. The Plutonium team also has another client for Mod Warfare 3, Plutonium IW5. Give that a try too, they're going to be adding the AK-74FU to the game in their next update. So, that's changed the advertising. Protect our bomb at all costs. Anyhow, like, it's an idea that I've been toying with because Everyone when I was playing Black Ops 1 with my mates, basically the only thing we'd play was combat training, which for those of you who don't remember, was basically you played against bombs in multiplayer game mode, primarily deathmatch and domination. Whereas you've now got... Whereas you've then also got some custom matches, which are which basically offline games, but... Well, an idea I've been toying with that would bring back the combat training was the addition of, was reworking the private matches into combat training, basically. Got one. So like, you could earn but your XP, complete challenges and whatnot against the bots if you needed to, even in case, you know, you were just having an off day, or your internet was acting slow. That's because, you basic. know, you've got a sibling that felt like torrenting the entire season of, I'm gonna say, charm. Without notifying anyone church. suddenly, or Escort there's that update for I don't know. Let's just say Protect us. generic beat 'em up. Bomb. All right, let's get to the church. Uh, this would, you know, mean that your progress wouldn't grind to a halt just because some condition out of your control or was acting on your connection, or you were just having an off day. Plus, then, you know, it, it would make, it encourage that, you know, multiple mates coming over and playing on the same game and just having a good, good merry old time progressing together. Would go off. Because that's just something that I know. No one's nearby to escort us. That it's so, not something that happens as often as people as it used to, but We're I retreating. feel no it's just some us. of the charm that comes with Two the game as opposed Look to being out. on the beat right 
Nobody's here to escort that us. a lot retreating. of developers overlook or have forgotten about. And it, it's back. it's no just a little thing I feel us. that could actually make better use of the custom matches. Oh, it's just a private, basically an offline match online. Where you can you know, see your pretty plantain. Anyway, this match seems to be coming to an end. Finally, a campaign. You get a lot of the guys on forums and Reddit saying that they don't play the campaign. Although, stats say at least half of COD's player base does at least play the campaign, a little bit under half, finishing it most of the time. It does nothing to hurt them the multiplayer it, at all and rather it boosts the whole experience for me one because you can make better trailers in the campaign than you can in multiplayer and two it gives the multiplayer context it makes you justify why we're running around like sci-fi flash freaking laser beams and finally, I try to tie unlocks and everything together, so like, give you the option to unlock like a zombie skin for ranking up zombies or locking a gun behind the campaign in multiplayer. Sort of hybridize it all together, like Killzone Mercenary. Anyhow, that's what I would personally do if I were doing Black Ops 4. This has been Con Cybot 1, giving you fresh and toasty gameplay from Land Down Under, signing out.